What is up, beautiful family? I hope that y'all are having a great morning. I wanted to come on here and just chat with you guys for a minute. Um, you know, I've been seeing some people lately uh, comment on my videos or my posts and say that when I post, they feel scared. And I wanna just bring you guys some encouragement today because I know that there are a lot of people out there who are scared of the rapture. They are scared to be left behind. I know I'm speaking to a lot of you guys right now because I was one of you at one point when I first started my YouTube channel and I was listening to Pastor Tim and a lot of other watchmen and watchwomen uh, within the community. I felt very anxious and very scared of the rapture and I don't know why because I knew that I was eternally secure and I knew that I would go, but it's always that seed of doubt that the enemy tries to plant in your mind. And so I just want to encourage you guys because I am at a place now, glory to God, no glory to me. I'm at a place now where I'm not scared anymore. I don't have fear and anxiety when I think about the rapture. Um, I get excited. I'm like more than ready to go. So I know that y'all, there's a lot of people that I'm speaking to right now who are in that place at the moment where you just feel scared for whatever reason. And it might just be that the enemy has been creeping in uh, and making you doubt your salvation, or maybe you're just dealing with some sin right now. Not that we condone sin, uh, and I'll say it a million times, not that we condone sin, but the flesh is weak, right? So you might be dealing with some kind of sin right now, some kind of bondage that you know, you haven't been deli delivered from yet, and the enemy is kind of dangling that over your head and making you think that you're going to be left beh behind because, you know, you're still dealing with it. And it's just lies from the enemy because Jesus says that when you believe in the gospel of your salvation, which is found in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 1 through 4, that Christ died for our sins, he was buried, and that he rose again on the third day. Um, he says when you believe in your heart, then that is what saves you. Um, it's not your good behavior. It's not what you do or what you don't do. Your salvation is not dependent upon your actions. We know that salvation is uh, a free gift from God, and it's not by work so that nobody can boast. So um, I just don't want um, my beautiful family uh, fearing and having anxiety in, the, in these last days because I, I really want you guys to experience that peace and that true inner joy uh, about his, or uh, <clears throat> I want you guys to feel that, that peace and that inner joy when it comes to the rapture of the church because, you know, the Lord is so excited to come and get us. Can you only imagine like after all this time how excited he really is? And he wants us to have joy and excitement too. And he doesn't want you to be living in fear. So if there's anyone right now who, for whatever reason, is um, having doubt or anxiety or fear or depression or you get scared anytime somebody talks about the rapture or the end times, I rebuke that right now in the name of Jesus. And I break every chain um, of fear and anxiety, every shackle of, uh, of sadness or of despair. Um, so, I mean, guys, whatever you're facing, I rebuke that right now in the name of Jesus. And I declare and am believing and praying peace right now over you in the name of Jesus and true inner joy uh, and happiness and excitement because I know that's what God wants for you. Um, and I, I want you to experience where I am right now. Um, you know, it... it all I did when I felt fear is I just prayed that God would take that from me. Um, I always tell you guys just to place everything in his hands, whatever you're dealing with, you just give that to him because you guys know, you know that all of those feelings and emotions are not from God. It is from the enemy. And even if you are a born again Christian, um, Satan is still going to try to antagonize your mind. Um, he doesn't want you effective for the kingdom. He knows that you're eternally secure if you have put your trust and faith in Jesus for salvation alone, nothing else, uh, no more, no less. Um, he knows that you're secure and he knows that you're going to be raptured when it happens, but he still wants to make your time here miserable. So put the full armor on of God. 
Um, you guys just keep handing those emotions and that doubt and that fear over to Jesus. And you take, you ask him to take that from you and to replace it with happiness and peace and excitement. Um, and just keep doing it and until it's gone, because I promise, like I've always told you guys, um, the more that you place in his hands, the more deliverance and freedom you will find. And I promise you that promise. Um, now, I just wanted to come on here and give you guys encouragement because there's not only is the enemy really, really out right now uh, running rampant. I mean, he truly knows that his time is short. So he's going to try any tactic that he can. So you guys just stay strong in the Lord. Um, I'm also praying his strength over you. Um, we really need that right now in the end days. Um, not only is he out running rampant, trying to destroy, trying to make you less effective for the kingdom, but he's also um, behind all of the people right now who are unfortunately on YouTube uh, preaching and teaching in a cursed gospel. Uh, Jesus said there, says that there's one way uh, to the Father, and it's through him, and it's by believing in his precious blood alone for your salvation, not anything else. I've always told you guys that water baptism is, water baptism, I can't speak uh, today. Water baptism is a great thing. Speaking in tongues is a great thing. We're called unto good, good works. I believe in works. Um, confessing sin, all of that stuff, all of those things are great. But your salvation is found alone in Jesus by believing. And Satan is trying to pervert that gospel right now. He is trying to uh, make others think that there are other ways to heaven, but there's only one way. So the way to be rapture ready right now um, is to believe in Jesus. Believe in the testimony of God's son that he... that. Um, Christ died for our sins. He was buried and that he was, uh, that he rose again on the third day. And when you believe in that gospel of your salvation in Ephesians one, verse 13, it says, when you hear that truth, you receive the Holy spirit and he seals you. Okay. So there's nothing, even if you mess up, not that we want to mess up, but even when you mess up, not if, but when you mess up, the Holy spirit will never leave you. Uh, the Bible says there is nothing that can snatch you from his hands. There's a doctrine going around right now or a teaching that there's multiple raptures or some Christians are going to have to stay. Um, the ones that are behaving really well right now are, are going to get to go, but the others are going to have to suffer some more. If you're hearing anything like that, listen to me right now. Turn it off, okay? And even when this video ends, don't go back to your same thoughts, okay? Receive this message today. Receive this truth. Um, there's now no condemnation for you if you're in Christ Jesus right now and he doesn't want you living in fear. Okay, so rebuke it in the name of Jesus and you walk in this in this truth today that you're saved, that you're sealed, that you're sanctified, that you're rapture ready. Okay, um, Jesus is so excited to eagerly, um, he's eagerly awaiting us and uh, very soon we're going to see our maker face to face. We're going to get to run in his arms. Okay. Um, don't fear that you're going to be left behind. I know there's a, everybody, everyone right now listening to this, including myself, is dealing with something, okay? Some kind of trial, some kind of tribulation, some kind of sin in our life. Um, we all miss the mark, okay? So your salvation is not found in your good behavior, what you do or what you don't do, okay? At the end of the day, uh, we mess up. We all strive to be better. But the, ultimately, the Holy Spirit is in you, working in you. We're all a work in progress, okay? And the only um, time that we're ever going to be, you know, perfect is when we receive our glorified bodies when the rapture happens. So I just really, really, really um, want you to receive this message today. I want you to be encouraged. Um, in these last final moments of these end of days, live in peace, live in joy. Um, again, I am praying God's strength over you right now. I love you all and I will see you all so soon in the air. Talk to you soon.